Thomas has worked on his brain slime for many years. Most of the New record, and you got there around time before you came. Ah, oh, yeah, this branch line is so good that Sir Topham Hat made me laugh when I came here before you, um, guys, um, built this TV show that we're filming. Annie and Clara were pretty impressed. Thomas had been making records over the years, and they started to like it. Drivers. I surprised he got that wreck. Buff. Ah. Uh, well, anyway. Yeah. How about we um go see him tomorrow? Okay. So they all made a plan. Next day, it was ev time for everyone to go to Daytona for the clash. All right, one. You guys all ready? Yeah, I'm so ready. I got Annie and Club ready last night, and we're probably all ready. And don't forget me back here. Anyways, let's get going, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep an eye on Radio 5. I still don't know about one. Eh, I would be. Puff. Then, Thomas set it off with Annie and Clara. Soon, they arrived at Daytona International Speedway. Well, um, he's dumb. Thanks for bringing us along. Yeah, I certainly agree agreement. Well, <laughs> we got you because, um, I thought you... I think we you should watch the clash with us, Mike. Yeah, I think you should. Because, um, you were tired and I think you should be here for one more race in your life. And then you can probably watch for the rest of your life. <laughs> well, that's kind of interesting. Well, I think you're kind of right. We should go. Yeah, see you around. Well, it looks like Paul Menor and Dear Reagan, who just retired, are gonna go to the pack. To the pack, and they will start in the last position. In the last position. Everyone ready here to go at the Clash of Daytona International Speedway of the first. 
to practice before the real race start. A short race around this track. Everybody on their feet. It's time to get started with the Clash. We'll find out who is our 2020 NASCAR Piston Cup Clash winner. Things on the air. Let's start the Clash, everybody. 25 laps into this race, and Kevin Harvick is already pulling away from the start. And we still will figure out who is our 2020 NASCAR Piston Cup Clash winner. Larson, who started in 12th, now leads the Clash here today. Find out who still wins on lap 30 in the Clash. Ready to give him a little shove it. Oh, Kyle Larson gets around! Oh, he, oh, he collects a bunch of cars. Oh, oh no. Oh, a bunch of cars collide. Oh, a bunch of them collide. First caution of the day. And they'll see how Kyle Larson got into this. Replay. So there is the shove from Matt Benedetto in his 95 for Lee Bynum Family Racing. And Kyle Larson just like pushes in. He goes to the right. And for some reason, Benedetto was in this wreck. But for some reason, he was able to get back on the track. And look at all that damage to that 42. The 95 up in the air a bit. And then trying to avoid everyone, but William Byron on the side, just, ow, just, 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 wow, I, the 95 did really good last year for Lee Bine, when Regan Smith decided to take over the team, and before that, look at Haley Deegan, oh, big hit by the nine, the, the 59, uh, yeah, this is, um, Haley Deegan's first start, the NASCAR Piston Cup Series, and we'll be back on 10 and 5 NASCAR Piston Cup season for NASCAR Piston Cup, and we'll be back. Restart in the Clash. Daniel Swerbeck holds off front, and everyone wants wall to win the Clash, but no one is like, like is trying their best about something that they want to win the Clash. Spire Motorsports wants to win the Clash. We got Brady 5 and Haley Deegan, who made it in. And not Jeffrey Earnhardt and Jay McMurray, who are coming into this race in the Daytona 500. We'll see who find out who wins the clash. Coming up on the white flag. Oh, Bowman! Bowman will hit the wall, but they took the white flag, sponsored by Credit One Bank, under the green flag. But if we don't have a caution, that also Kurt Busch spins. And also Haley Deegan catches up. And Eric Amarola will make it through. No caution just yet. Here's a race for the lead. Ready to fight. Ryan Blaney. Matt Benedetto. Joey Logano. Looking for the win. Looking for the win. Looking for the win. Oh, Brady Five will get around. He'll spin. He spins, collecting a bunch of cars from behind. That will cause a huge wreck on the final lap. Paul Menard. Last year, he almost won the clash. But he didn't. But he... He got spun by Jimmy Johnson, and this day may come true for him. Coming to the checker flag, Paul Menard will win the 2020 NASCAR Piston Cup Clash. Because he has never won. The last time he has won was in 2011. I didn't have. We're going to find out what caused this accident on the final lap. Replay. So here they come, uh, coming to, um, the next turn onto the back straightaway so that they can, link them, um, see who is the best for the clash. And they're side by side for the lead. Ray of Thives turns right. He lost control at this moment. He goes into Ryan Blaney, pushes him in the wall. And then two of Ray of Thives tires gets up in the air and then... Ryan Blaney spins, and then Jimmy Johnson coming along. Ryan Blaney is still spinning. And then watch this right here. Watch this. Watch this. You won't see it. Ooh! Ryan Blaney up in the air. And uh, we have some replays on the cars, and um, we only have one right now for uh, Matt Benedetto, who rocked here today in the clash. And let's go right along him. Well, right along with him and see what happened. Here. Ooh, 
looks like more smoke if you must saw the crack of both your plane flipping along with Johnson. Excellent job. Meant that I'd have to be back when we have all this cleaned up. And we'll see you later on the next So a rough clash for me, um at least um Paul Menor when I saw him uh, like when I after like I like almost flipped. It was like so crazy that wreck. Well yeah. <laughs> yeah. At least um Palminar and Dave Reagan had not retired. I'm actually not retiring yet. Wait, what? Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed this um episode right here about um Palminar and Dave Reagan retiring. Um so Dave Reagan is actually not gonna be retiring yet. I show you proof. Look under this sheet of paper. It's his new ride for 20, 20 day, 2500, which is the next episode. Yeah, I'm going to be in this 36 by now instead of my 38 for the rest of the episodes now and um, everything. And before we um kick off this episode or complete this episode, we have some cool race win die cast just been finished with being made. All right, so our first one we have is... Brad Keselowski's Martinsville win from 2019. It's a pretty cool um, race version. We got like the the two as a sticker, like in these papers to make those numbers. So um, yeah, you can like, yeah, it's a pretty cool um race version. I'm not, I'm not gonna sell this on eBay because this is just just some paint that I used. And also, I have a sheet of paper right here. <sighs> this is um soon we're gonna making um David Reagan's. Final ride. I mean, I mean, David Reagan's um, 36 car in a 124 scare diecast. So you can um do that. And also we have a special one from Texas from 2018. It's Kyle Busch's 2018 Texas race surgeon. I think this is the Texas race surgeon. I think so. So um, I'm not gonna be selling this on eBay as well because it's just a custom race surgeon. So anyway, guys, we hope you enjoyed Palmer and Day Ray's retirement, and we'll see you when Daytona 5 episode, episode starts.